Have you ever wondered what happens to your body if you don't eat for five days? It's a thought that might have crossed your mind, and it's shrouded in a cloud of curiosity and common myths. We're here to shed light on this topic, bringing you scientific facts over fiction, unraveling the mystery of the human body's astonishing response to starvation. So, let's dive into the fascinating journey of what happens to your body when you don't eat for five days. The first thing that happens when you stop eating is your body's immediate response. As your stomach empties and no new energy comes in, your body must switch gears. Initially, it relies on glucose, a type of sugar stored in your liver, to provide the energy it needs. This glucose is quickly used up, typically within the first 24 hours. When the glucose stores are depleted, your body doesn't just give up. Instead, it makes a significant shift in how it fuels itself. It enters a metabolic state known as ketosis. In this state, your body starts breaking down stored fat into molecules called ketones, which it uses for energy instead of glucose. This switch is a survival mechanism, honed over millennia of human evolution, allowing us to survive periods of food scarcity. So, after a day or two without food, your body has fully entered a state of ketosis, burning fat for fuel. As we approach the third day without food, things start to get a little more serious. Our bodies are incredibly adaptable machines programmed for survival. When we're not supplying it with fuel from food, it begins to look elsewhere. Yes, that's right, our own tissues. The body starts breaking down muscle tissue to provide energy, which can lead to muscle loss. But that's not all. Dehydration also becomes a concern at this point. Even if you're drinking water, without the right balance of electrolytes from food, your body may struggle to absorb it properly. This can lead to a variety of issues including irregular heart rhythms, muscle cramps, and in severe cases, seizures or even coma. Our bodies also start to conserve energy in any way they can, slowing down metabolism and other non-essential processes. Think of it like your body switching to low power mode. By day three, the body is in survival mode, doing whatever it can to preserve vital organs and functions. By the fourth and fifth day without food, the body is in a state of starvation. At this point, your body is functioning on survival mode. It continues to break down muscle tissues to create energy, a process that can lead to severe muscle wastage. But that's not all. The lack of essential nutrients causes a strain on your organs, which can eventually lead to organ failure. Your heart, for instance, is a muscle that could be broken down for energy, and the implications of that are grim. Now here's something you might not expect. If you suddenly start eating again after these five days, it can be just as dangerous. This condition, known as refeeding syndrome, happens when your malnourished body gets a sudden influx of food. Your body might be overwhelmed, leading to heart failure, seizures, and in extreme cases, even death. After five days without food, the body is in a critical state, and reintroducing food should be done carefully to prevent refeeding syndrome. So, to recap what happens to your body when you don't eat for five days, initially it switches from using glucose to fat for energy. Shortly after, you enter a state of ketosis. As the days progress, your body may resort to breaking down muscle tissue for fuel. This process is no picnic and can be dangerous, potentially leading to severe health issues. Remember, while our bodies are remarkable machines capable of adapting to many situations, starvation is a serious condition that can lead to severe health consequences. Always consult with a healthcare professional before making any drastic changes to your diet.